Hi, uh, my name is Juan Gomez. I am Head of Market Intelligence at Forward Keys. We're global leaders in travel analytics and we help destinations globally to predict travelers' impact. So obviously we're here in Saudi Arabia having this fantastic um, summit. How, how do you find a, a summit then? Well, it's been incredible so far. It's amazing how uh, you know all uh, people from all over the world can, can meet and it's been really inspiring, the panel so far. And we're looking forward to a very interesting uh, sessions following uh, the day. I've heard a lot of good good news that travel industry is bouncing back post-pandemic wise. Some of the figures you, you guys have researched and studied. Yeah, so it is true that, that we are on the path to recovery. We are not yet on pre-pandemic figures, but that uh, doesn't apply to all the destinations. We've seen a very uneven recovery. We've seen uh, almost full recovery in the Americas, especially in the Caribbean, where some destinations have, able, have been able to post uh, growth on pre-pandemic uh, pre figures. And now we're seeing, especially after events such, uh, such as the World Cup, we're seeing that the Middle East is bound to uh, recover pre-pandemic figures and even post growth on that at uh, the beginning of uh, 2023. So very encouraging news. So what do you think are the factors that have uh, triggered or affected this to just go back to the normal normalcy? Yeah, well, so the main uh, defining factor has been uh, to be open for business and the ability to communicate this to, to the world, to, uh, to travelers and say we're welcoming you and we are open uh, for business. So that was key for, for these destinations in the Caribbean and now for the Middle East is, is the same as well. I mean, it's the ease of travel and also uh, upcoming destinations that are uh, trying to position themselves as uh, destinations and no mere uh, hubs to travel uh, to further destinations. And that's the case of Dubai, it's also the case of Qatar, and of course uh, Saudi Arabia, which uh, from September to December, we expect that it will have received 2.4 times more travelers than in the same time uh, in 2019. According to your study, are there uh, challenges still in the pipeline? Yes, yes, there's of course be, uh, some uh, headwinds, of course, the inflation, the war in, in Europe are of course uh, cause for concern, but what we're seeing is that the demand is not being dampened by this uh, high inflation in the main uh, source markets. We see that, the, uh, for example, the US outbound market continues to be really strong and that's of course benefiting many destinations. It has benefited many destinations in Europe uh, during the summer and we expect that it will continue benefiting all destinations globally. So. Is there, there are of course uh, causes for concern, but we remain optimistic about the, the future of the travel industry. So what's the takeaway that you're getting out from Saudi Arabia? Uh, my takeaway will be that there's a lot of things happening here, the changes are happening really quick, and I think it's definitely the destination or the place to be for the next few years.